Okay, good morning. I have quite a bit to do today, so I figured I would just start talking while I get my bagel prepped. I really, really, really have been enjoying blueberry bagels from Panera Bread since I've been pregnant, and I get a chai tea latte. So anyway, like I said, I have a lot to do today. Side note, I put a lot of cream cheese on my bagels. I don't know if you're like that. Do you like cream cheese or do you just like put the bare minimum? <laughs> I put a lot, um, as much as I can sometimes, but anyway. I have a lot of homework to get through, so I will be doing some assignments for um, 100 devs, still trying to get through class 16 homework because that homework was a whole bunch, okay? There was a whole bunch of reading, a whole bunch of practice, a whole bunch of like, you know, going back to the code that was gone over in the lecture to do the practice, deleting code, doing it again to just get that repetition. So I do need to work on the Code Academy stuff, I believe it's one through six, so you go through a whole bunch of stuff, arrays, loops, conditionals, functions, and I believe I'm on conditionals right now. I'm honestly not sure, but I'm working my way through that until I get to loops. I think loops is number six, so that's the last thing that I have to do in Co-Academy. Then I'm completely done with that um, homework. That one did not have an asterisk on it, so it's, I don't think that it's like one that he created that was like, oh, I really want you to do this. I think it's more so extra work, but I do. I try to do everything on the homework list, whether it has an asterisk by it or not, because I feel like if he put it on there, then it's something that I could get value out of, and it gives me more practice and more of a chance to solidify what I'm learning. So I just go ahead and do everything. And then I also want to catch up on my Anki cards. So if you don't know what Anki cards are, they're flashcards, they're digital flashcards that help you with active recall and spatial repetition. Whoa, that was a little mouthful. They help you with active recall and spaced repetition, which is shown to be, or you know, uh, it's been, you know, scientifically proven. <laughs> Why can't I speak? It's been scientifically proven to be a great way to study and how to actually learn. So I need to catch up on my Inky cards because I'm not gonna lie, I really slipped on those. Once I got through HTML, CSS, homework and stuff, I just stopped doing it. So I have no decks, like flashcard decks made for JavaScript at all. So I kind of just want to look through my notes and ooh, the baby's starting to kick. And sometimes like it's not strong yet, but it does catch me off guard sometimes. And yeah, it just, it kind of startles me sometimes. So I guess he's up and he's ready to eat like I am. Anyway, sorry for being all over the place this morning. Bear with me. Like I said, I need to catch up on the flashcards get my JavaScript cards created because I do need to start doing active recall for the JavaScript stuff that I'm learning because right now I just have a whole bunch of notes and stuff in my iPad or on my iPad and I need to transfer those and convert them into Anki cards. So lots to do. It's 9.30, 9.38. So I need to eat and then get to work. Okay, so breakfast is done. Um, I am out of breath, guys, <laughs> I'm so sorry. But anyway, what I'm gonna do now, the first thing I like to do when I sit down is to look at my to-do list. And I've been using the app called Tweak. I've talked to you guys about this in a previous video where I went through like dumbing down my phone. I mentioned the app and how I love it and how simple it is. I love minimalistic ways of planning. So this has been really good and easy for me to just go in, put what I need to do, check it off as I go and keep it pushing. So I need to check that to see what all I have on my plate today I do have a mental note of like what I want to study but I just want to make sure everything is like I'm actually doing what I said I was gonna do I also like to sit down and use my 100 days of code journal you guys have seen me talk about these multiple multiple times I don't know how many times I have talked about these in videos in the past but this is by someone um, we followed each other on Instagram at some point and her her Instagram is her hello world. I always, if I mention her journals in my video, I always tag it in the description box. So if you want to check this out, it will be in the description box below. But I love her journals because again, she created them for those who wanted to keep track of any type of challenge they were doing, um, obviously 100 days of code. And I kind of have been using it not only for tracking just 100 days of code, but as my actual study planner, because in here you can write down your goals, you can, each day gets two pages. I mean, I'm not gonna go through this again because again, I have videos where I talk in depth about this, but I really like it because I get to write down my task for today. So that's what I need to do today is write down or make sure that everything is aligned with what I wanted to do today, like the Code Academy Super Review, that those things are on here. And then at the end of the day, you can kind of go through and talk about what you learned, what went well, 
What resources did you use? What helped you get through things? Um, and like track if you made progress towards your ultimate goal. So I freaking love these. This is the first time I got this cover. Um, she has a few different designs. I usually get the white one, but me personally, I get it dirty easy. So I went with a darker color this time and I really like it. So I'm gonna check my to-do list and I'm gonna fill this out for today. Make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and then I can finally hop into Co-Academy studies. Okay, I wanted to quickly come on and show you guys how I take notes. I think I've talked about my note taking before, but I just wanted to quickly show you since this is a study vlog. What I like to do is use the Cornell note system. So let me kind of zoom in here a little bit. Um, as you can see, I have my page here. There is a line going down the left side of the page and then you have the rest of the space here. So what I'll do is put the title, the date, and then on the left side here, I will write out a question. As Leon Noel puts it, take questions, not notes. So I don't just write out a whole bunch of notes anymore of things that are just, it's like overkill with the notes and things that I don't actually need to focus on. So what I try to do is just write down things that I wanna learn a little bit more about or things that I actually have questions on. So these are the questions and then I come over here to kind of like fill in what I feel like answers the questions. So today, right now, during this session, I've started with the ternary operators. I think that's how you say it. And then over here, I've put very briefly what they are. And as you can see, I have highlighted here, CMD and Docs for example. So basically that lets me know that when I go to make my Anki cards or my flashcards, I'll see that highlighted and say, okay, there might be a little bit more information that I wanna collect to make a really good flashcard or things that I need to kind of look more into to get a better understanding of the topic. So that's what I do, it's really simple and I plan on doing an in-depth update of how I take my notes really soon. Okay, so I had to move to the couch because I noticed as my belly is getting bigger, as this baby is getting bigger, <laughs> um, I am really getting uncomfortable in my desk chair. And it seems like the longer I sit at my desk in that chair, it feels like my stomach is like literally crunching on top of itself, if that makes sense. I'm like squeezing my stomach. So then I get scared that I'm squeezing my baby. <laughs> so I moved to the couch so that I can have more room to spread out. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. But I am working on getting through the part of Co-Academy, um, like the homework that I wanted to do today. And I just got through like the learning portion of this section for conditionals and everything made sense. It was perfectly fine, no hiccups or anything that I didn't really understand. And I am on the part where you have to basically do like a mini project and kind of test your knowledge. So all of the things that you have to do are things that you just learned. So you should definitely know them. So um, there's nine steps, I'm on step seven out of nine, and I have come to the realization that I have been bringing in bad habits from when I was like in, shoot, even back as far as elementary school, middle school, high school, and into the college years that I did go through, or the college time, because I never completed a full year, let's be clear. <laughs> the college time that I did have, I'm taking some of the bad habits from those times into this time. So what I wanna explain is basically, when I was taking some college courses years ago, I knew my husband at those times and he's like super, super smart when it comes to logical thinking, math, science, like all those things. He just is like natural, one of those people that are just like naturally smart with it. And so I remember taking this college course and asking him, to basically tutor me through it. And I was getting so frustrated. I was getting upset, like, just like, why am I not getting this? Like feeling, honestly, like just being very blunt, I was feeling stupid. Like, so I remember he really like put the pencil down, he put everything down and he like stopped me. He was like, listen, you are taking a problem, like a math equation. You're taking a problem solving situation and overcomplicating it because you're trying to go through the entire problem at one time. And I am noticing that I'm doing the same thing here um, with this 
problem. What my brain likes to do is instead of reading the problem and doing it kind of like step by step and just breaking it down and seeing that it in reality, it's really probably telling you exactly what to do. I take the entire paragraph, read it at once and try to do this thing in my brain where I'm solving the entire thing at one time. I don't know if that makes any sense or if you guys have experienced this in your learning journey where you just overcomplicate the problem and it makes the problem solving a lot harder than it has to be and you get frustrated and then you just get lost unnecessarily. But that's exactly what I was just doing. And so I'm going to slow down, not be that way anymore, not try to take in those bad study habits and you know, things that I did throughout my school years into this phase of my life <laughs> of learning and try to maybe even utilize, like maybe create a piece of scratch paper on my iPad to just kind of break down what it's asking me to do using pseudocode or just really trying to understand what it's trying to tell me to do because I don't think it's that hard. And it has to be something I know how to do because it's related to things that we just learned and I understood all of that. So you get what I mean? like. But basically it's saying like create a control flow, which I haven't actually looked up yet. But what I think a control flow, this is my first time seeing that term. I think a control flow from what I'm gathering is another way of saying like make a block of code with conditionals, like using if, else, if, else statements. Um, another way of saying that might be control flow. I'll have to look it up, but even just seeing that because I haven't seen it before, I'm allowing it to confuse me to the point where I'm like, well, I don't know how to do this because I don't even know what that is. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. So <laughs> I'm going to sit here and actually concentrate and take this step by step, break it down and get through it. And I will update you guys on what happens and as I get through it or, you know, when I'm done with this part. So let me go ahead and get through that. I just wanted to throw that out there. Because maybe sometimes I feel like certain things that I'm going through, I'm like, are other people experiencing that? Like, have you experienced that in your learning journey where you just overcomplicate things? When in reality, you just need to stop, slow down and take it sentence by sentence and just do exactly. It's, it's telling you to do exactly what you need to do. I'm going to stop rambling. But if you understand what I'm saying, let me know if this is you or if you've had this situation before. So, yeah, back to studying. Okay, so it was bothering me. I had to use ChatGPT to really like look this up and make sure that I was doing what it asked me to do and understand what I'm supposed to be doing. So control flow refers to the order in which statements or instructions are executed in a program and conditional statements are one way to manage control flow. So I guess they're related, but they're not the same thing. But I was kind of like along the same, are you know, the right lines or thought process. So I don't know. I'm still kind of like... I need to process that, but I think I understand what it's saying now, but I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> okay, so I have finished my studies for Co-Academy for now. I just finished the conditional one. It took me a little longer than I wanted it to just because I didn't realize there were so many mini projects in there, or not so many, but that I was gonna have the errors that I was getting, but we got through it. I figured out what I said I was going through in the last clip, I think it was, um, but we got through that. So I think I'm now moving on to functions and then I might have like arrays and loops and then I should be done. I might be missing one, but these are taking a little bit longer than I thought they would. So I'm probably gonna work through a little bit more throughout the day. But before I finish out this part of my coding and study session for the day, before I have to go get the kids in an hour, I want to take another look at my project. Um, I don't know if you've seen this watching this video, but I have a video where I created a JavaScript project using all the knowledge that I've learned from this bootcamp as well as a tutorial. So I broke all of that down. If you want to check it out, I highly re recommend checking out that vlog after this one. I'll link it up in the cards and down below in the description box. But I got a comment from someone on that video saying that they think the error that I was having in that video may be attributed to the way that I have some text here. So I think it's, I think I made this an H1 maybe. Okay, so basically the issue I was having is that when I hover over this card or the, the card is on this home screen one, 
it's bigger the card is actually physically bigger than the other amiibos like if i click on the characters the villagers the card is smaller if it's the screen a lot better but when i hit reset to go back to this home one it is so much bigger and it's like going off the page and it gives me a scroll bar that i don't want so there was someone on my in my comments saying that it's probably because my h1 is spanning two lines and when i click on these it only spans one so i just saw that comment yesterday so i'm going to try to fix that and see if that works and shout out to you for even recommending that because i was not catching that i think i was just so over the project at that moment because if you watch that video back my daughter had been in the hospital for four days i was still trying to work on this once i got back out got her out of the hospital so there was a lot going on in that vlog and when he said that in the comments i was like oh my my gosh like I literally said oh my gosh thank you so much so let me go back try to fix that tweak it and see if that worked okay that fixed it so shout out to you in the comments for pointing that out because I probably would have racked my brain so much but honestly I have not looked at this code since I filmed that video and wrapped it up I haven't added any more styling to it that I said I was going to add to it so that helps me with one more step because I do want to revisit this uh, project as I learn more about JavaScript so that I can actually like add more functionality to it more behavior to it as I go and just make it cooler and cooler build on top of it but if you're seeing this video and you were the person that commented on that last video thank you so much because your suggestion did work i'll probably go back and comment on that anyway and just let you know like hey yes it did work so oh my gosh the card looks exactly how it's supposed to i'm not getting let me turn off my dev tools um i'm not getting the scroll effect that i was getting before and all of the other cards still look beautiful in the size that they should be so we're all good i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video it's been a long day of studying i think i started around 10 a.m or maybe a little bit before that maybe 9 45 ish i don't know and it's 2 39 so i still have an hour until we have to get the girls so i don't know what i'm gonna do i might honestly take a break oh my gosh we have neighbors moving in upstairs and it's been really really loud so hopefully none of that is coming up on the camera right now but anyway like I said that's gonna do it for this video thank you so much for watching I think I'm gonna actually take a break eat a snack gather myself and rest a little bit until these kids get home in about an hour but yeah this has been fun hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully something was helpful maybe check out um co-academy for yourself one thing i will say before i close this out is that having 100 devs boot camp paired with co-academy's like resources and the way that it's structured has been chef's kiss that combo is lethal. I have been learning so much and things have been getting, you know, really ingrained into my brain. So I'm very happy about where I'm at right now. And hopefully you guys are having a good journey. I know a lot of you have been taking 100 devs as well. Some of you have told me that you guys found it from some previous videos that I did months ago. So let me know how your progress is going. Wherever you are on your journey, even if it's not 100 devs, let me know what you're doing, how your journey is progressing, what resources are you using? Because we always love to learn about resources here on this channel. So thank you for everything. I'm going to stop rambling. I love you guys. You know that. And I'll see you in the next one.